Ooh, look at this lighting. I wasn't ready setting up all the lighting, but then I thought, this, this is okay. It's like moody. It makes me almost feel relaxed, which is really good because I just, I had a day. <laughs> it is past 8 p.m. on July 20th, 2021. As I mentioned yesterday, this is a monologue that I have memorized and performed before. Originally, I performed this in college for a rehearsal monologue, audition monologue. So today's monologue, depending on how you perform it really, it can be comedic or dramatic and it's pretty timeless as long as you are in the age where you could have had relationships. Um, and I have talked about this before. I talked about this monologue in the beginning of 2020 and I didn't perform it on camera, but I am going to be performing it today. I am going to use a piece of paper today because uh, I want to get this video up today since I am posting a self-tape audition every day and every day this month and every day this week I am uploading monologues. My name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and for some reason I thought it would be such a great idea if I posted a self-tape audition every day of July and each week is themed differently. This week I am doing monologues every day. So if you want to see other monologues, you can look at the other ones from um, Sunday and Monday. And then next week it's scenes, all different kinds of scenes. So today I'm going to be performing a monologue from The Fitting Room and I have throughout all of this, I have put the link in the description to the scripts so you guys can go check them out. Um, I have always seen this monologue as comedic because it's pretty silly but today when I was reading it and I think it had a lot to do with the mood that I'm in I was just really it was it, it, it just hit me really deep today like calm and uh like it, it was coming from a place of wisdom but also this monologue reminds me of when you talk to a friend like a girlfriend um maybe giving her advice or him advice them advice so yes, so I'm going to be performing this monologue. As always, leave me feedback if you would like. Oh, one of the things that I really want to explore and um, this month is to not only use backdrops, and I feel like I've been using backdrops a lot lately, especially with all the special skills um, and the slates. So for the slates, I mean, I still do want to use backdrops because it's more professional, I feel, I think. Um, but for the actual monologue, I thought it would be fun to sit on the bed and just be like, you know, with a pillow as if I was talking to my friend and that's what I'm going to do today. That's what I'm going to explore. So here's the monologue. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez and I will be performing a monologue from The Fitting Room. I go into his refrigerator. <laughs> I could tell exactly the type of man he is. I wait until he goes into the bathroom or something, and there's a lot less danger in digging in his refrigerator than going into his underwear drawer. Refrigerators are easy. Sour milk? Okay. What's the date on it? Did it expire last week or two months ago? Seth had sour cream that dated back 12, 10, 17. That shit was penicillin. Man, I really had to ask myself, is this the type of dude I want to be with? Someone who can't even manage the own details of his refrigerator. I was wasting my time. And, and refrigerators are better than, say, bookshelves. Bird had a fat-ass collection. Poetry, world history, anthropology. Uh, after 10 months of not a single intellectual conversation, I finally had to ask him what's up with the books. Turns out he had never even opened the damn things. He liked the way the covers looked. I needed something to fill my bookshelves, he said. Just like he needed me to fill the job of girlfriend. We weren't learning anything from one another. We were just filling up space in one another's shelves. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, see you guys tomorrow. 
And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. Tell me something about what your channel is about.